I'm Jenny Littlepage and I'm from Monterey, California. Yes, I'm Patrick Reidman. I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. I'm Eva Hillerin and I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. I'm Jack Peterson and these are the people we're meeting today on Gimme 5. <laughs> Three singer-songwriters get together and collaborate on a project. Jannie Littlepage, Eva Hillerud, and Patrick Reidman. True North, the Northern Lights Tour. How did this come about? How did it all happen? Let's find out. Lights. 
We met on a songwriting retreat uh, here in California, actually, 2011. 2000, yeah, 11, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah, it was the first time for me. So January 2011 in Ben Lomond. Yeah. That was when we met. We all wrote yeah. together. I mean, I wrote with Eva, I wrote with Jenny, because the retreats are, you write with a new person every day. And, uh, and, and even Jenny wrote together. And on the last, on the concert that ends the, that week, we, I played with you on one yeah. of your co-writes. And, I think we liked that the vibe, and we liked to write with each other. And then uh, the sound when we sang together was just amazing. Yeah. I was just high from singing with you guys. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah. So that was the starting point. And then we didn't really do much until well this last August. Yeah, but, but I had the idea. You had the idea, I yeah. Think we talked about it a little bit. Oh, it would be great to to play some more, and you and me and Patrick. You know, we started. It, it got a, such a good taste from that. Yeah, and I think you guys had you guys had a, a, a little idea of a tour last year, or yeah, that yeah. it was kind of just yes. uh, it was on the table. So yeah, to speak. It was on the, the, the table. idea was on the table, but yeah. nothing really happened then. Yeah. And uh, but this year, uh, all of a sudden, Jenny and Eva, or mostly Jenny, of course. <laughs> but I I just uh, got a an email or you skyped me or <laughs> it was like uh, Jenny wants to do a tour um, <laughs> I said okay uh, let's see and I I'm very kind of I'm jaded in a way that you you hear all sorts of ideas and they usually don't come about but this really came about so I'm really thrilled we all love each other's music and we have favorites we all have each other's albums and we so we we know a lot of each other's materials, but of course, the the most exciting thing are the newest songs, always for a songwriter, I think, and also the co-writes are very exciting. Um, but I think we just we pooled everything. We sort of sent. Now we have what thirty? Almost, almost thirty songs, songs on, yeah. on a list. We haven't really list. played all of yeah. them together, but we have about ha uh, half. That but I, I think then when we put together a set, we try to balance it so that we have. We have the co-writes, of course, that we've done together, and then we have an equal amount of songs from each writer. Uh, so just to to make it, because it's also nice to have like a, a balance in, in, in who sings the lead. And yes, and, and also the, the texture of the set, the, um, uh, uh, the flow of the set, the, whether the it's dynamics. A, yeah. Yes, dynamics. And, and for the audience, it's really exciting to have three different singers, I think. it's uh, Everyone has her and his own kind of... Mm -hmm. uh, personality so, yes. so it, it gives a lot to the audience when, when you're three yes. solo singers yeah. together. I think the, the hard work is to select songs actually yes. to, to <laughs> because we have too many songs to, yeah, to choose from. Yeah. That's our biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a bunch of music schools uh, from from the highest education that we call the music high school from you know I started very very young and but I think what I learned the most from is from writing my own songs and that's where I found my unique voice and I think for me the, the high road to being a good uh, performer and artist has been my own music and, and because I forget about myself when I sing uh, because there is something and then, then I suddenly flow in my technique but, but of course you have to practice a lot and you have to know what you're doing but, mm -hmm. but uh, and, and so I, it's hard to tell. I mean, I, it was not a damage for me to go to these, uh, all these schools, but I think what has really developed me has been my own journey uh, with my own songs. Um, yeah. I wrote this song for my daughter, and it was a day I realized she's not going to live with, with me my whole life. She's going to move from home, and I was like, oh, my God. Uh, and um, I wanted to give her something, you know, some wise words about life. And so this is to Ella. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four.
snowflakes fall to the ground sun comes out melt them down mountain side the river runs to feed the tide and grass grows high hot blue sky musky away to frosty nights and little birds must learn to fly and say goodbye For me, I think that the, the music education in, in primary school was always fun for me and I, I knew that I had, I felt that I had a, a talent for it, but I, I didn't really start pursuing music uh, seriously until after, actually I was, I was an exchange student in, in Sacramento. And when I came back, I had been accepted to, to we call it gymnasium, it's, it's like high school. The direction of the education was music, so it was a lot of, it was choir, it was ensemble, I played drums, I sang, I did all this kind of stuff. 
and I think that year in the U.S. when I actually I was in the jazz choir and I was in the marching band and and I and I sang with some people and I felt that I, this is some, there's something here I need to pursue and I had already been accepted to to the education in Sweden. Uh, not on my uh, academical merits because I didn't know any music theory or but I had good grades so I, I, I got in just by my grades and I'm really grateful because then I started to learn to really learn music and um, and then I went to to university as well and majored in music so so for me it's been important but then that that was so long ago now <laughs> and and for me it's all, all also been that the, the big school has been for me well partly it's been a, a big ensemble that was I, I was accepted to uh, uh, it's a choir but it's it's more like a Theater. like a theater group or I mean we're, we're a choir but we do shows uh, we have choreography lighting uh, te spoken text no sheet music it's all kind of very theatrical and and, and uh, based on communication with the audience and and that's been a big school for me and I've always writing been writing my own material as well but and that's been part of it also but for me it kind of the, the school was important but but once you get to put the, uh, the, your knowledge into practice with other people that's where when, when the real uh, for me the big stuff has uh, started to happen um, I think yeah this song is called uh, circle of stones uh, it was written on the island of Gotland off the coast of Sweden off the east coast of Sweden um, the result of an exercise where you walk out with your co-writing partner, you walk in silence for 20 minutes or at least 20 minutes and then you come back and you you split and then you you meet again after an hour or so and kind of share your experiences, you write down what you thought about, ideas, etc. And then you kind of kind of uh, ping on the other uh, person's ideas and uh, and this particular walk resulted in two songs, uh, one co-write and this song that I wrote myself because I had like, she had such a good idea that we went with her idea and I kind of finished this by myself. Uh, and the, the interesting part is that there is a circle of stones which is an old grave site from I guess, you know, 900s or something like that and uh, I was just kind of intrigued by this uh, formation and what it meant and and kind of interpreted uh, it on an on an emotional level I think mm -hmm. so um, this is circle of stones oh, well, never mind oh. just use your knees <laughs> been here before I recognize the scent heading for the sandy shore as if by accident right there in the clearing among weathered shrubs and grass lies the place we are going to though I'd rather walk right past Welcome to my circle of stones Where my wounds are buried and I'm burying my bones Where my dreams are drowned out by these dinosaur drones Welcome to my circle of stones Where my kings of illusion abandon their thrones And my heart's ripped right open out of control This is my circle of stones My circle of stones You stop to tie your shoelace You pick a feather from the ground Look at me and slowly say Honey, look what I just found Might have been a seagull Grew tired of its flight 
He was soaring southward against the wind Next time he'll get it right Welcome to my circle of stones Where my wounds are buried and I'm there in my bones Where my dreams are drowned out by these dinosaur drones Welcome to my circle of stones Where my kings of illusion abandon their thrones And my heart's ripped right open out of control This is my circle of stones Circle of stones Circle of stones Circle of stones in the middle is just as stubborn as they come it's melting slowly as we touch the damage is undone now I just wanna dance here build a fire for the night I will show them to you one by one and this time I'll get it right a circle of stones where my wounds are buried and I'm bearing my bones where my dreams are drowned out by these dinosaur drones oh, oh, welcome to my circle of stones where my kings of illusion abandon their thrones and my heart's ripped right open out of control this is my circle of stones Circle of stones yeah. Circle of stones Circle of stones I, I did have music in school um, uh, but really it was my father, uh, though not a musician, he, he was a music lover and listened to every kind of music and when I was a very little child I listened to classical and jazz and uh, blues and you know all sorts of things, um, R&B and uh, he listened to everything and he bought me you know the Beatles, he bought me my albums, the Beatles, um, Dave Brubeck was my, one of my first albums, Take Five, um, Charlie Musselwhite. I, I listened to a lot of music and then um, I, I didn't really get much music education in school um, and I didn't know that I would be a musician. I, I wrote songs and played piano. Um, uh, there was a gentleman down the, down the street who was a pastor, a minister, and a retired minister and he had this big upright grand piano and he willed it to me when I was four because he said I had facility for it because I would play down at his house and I st we still have that piano and um, so it was really uh, being around my sister also who's an actress and a singer and a classically trained singer and my older sister so I, uh, I didn't, ha I wasn't really a group person I wasn't in choirs and I wasn't in uh, you know, a band or anything like that. I was sort of a solo, solitary sort of person until now. <laughs> and now, in the last few <coughs> years, um, with these beautiful listening room retreats, um, I have uh, come again to, to write with people um, and sing with people. So, so can you just uh, say a few words about the song, Jenny? Yes, yes. Um, I, I wrote this uh, song by myself when I lived uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I, uh, my dear friend Lynn Baker ha had a twin brother, and he passed away, and um, so I wrote it for him, for Lynn, for the loss of his brother, and also I wrote it sort of to my. It's been interpreted in many ways. Um, it's been interpreted very religiously. 
it's been interpreted more as being sung to your guardian angel. So it, I think it can speak to many people and that's what we often try to do with our songs is to make, to, to make it more universal. Um, so, True North. Mm -hmm. And it just happens to have the name True North. <laughs> okay, the years, the years, the one, two, one, two. The years may slip away And still I'll see your face Shining like a beacon through a storm You will always be The stars don't sleep in an endless sky My journey is long, I'm lost I fear Still somehow you find me here No matter where I roam How many roads I travel on Crowded streets are hard to bear And there's no silence anywhere Still somehow you hear my prayer No matter where I roam How many hills I travel on Shining like a beacon through a storm You will always be true Like a beacon through a storm You're connected to me I'm the river, you're the source You will always be true north True north True north big thank you to Jannie, Eva, and Patrick for this segment. If you'd like to find out more about them and their music, log on to JannieLittlePage.com and you can find Eva and Patrick on Facebook. It's that easy. For Gimme 5, I'm Jack Peterson. We'll see you next time.